Previously on Persona 5 Royal. Joker and Kasumi walked to the station together under the same umbrella. Maruki told us about pain and suffering? We accompanied Caroline and Justine to Big Bang Burger as part of our rehabilitation. We rejoin Joker as he prepares for another rainy day of school. Aren't we there yet? It's hard to breathe in here. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Pulling card at Matarame Exhibit. The police are evaluating whether that is a true threat or a prank. Scam outbreak in Shibuya. Students are the primary victims. Organized crime is suspected here. Hey, hey. Students getting scammed? That's scary. You should be careful when you go to Shibuya. Okay, more gods. We'll be fine. It's okay. What's going on here? This? A request to the student body. Hmm? It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Oh my god, they're going they're jumping through all the hoops to get us. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. Of course Makoto's at the head of it. <sighs> so we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? Just leave us alone. Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. Yeah, just keep walking. Don't don't say anything. We're good. We're good. We're good. How tragic. Oh yeah, it's a new God. Um Seems like most of society was surprised about what that artist did. He was someone who represented Japan. They probably trusted him based on his name alone. Indeed, we're easily manipulated by the names we see. However, this world is filled with fake names. For instance, this creature, which you know well, it's called the Red King Crab. I don't, I don't know it well. But it has a form that a crab should not have. You, look at the picture. Uh... The Red King Crab is biologically related to the Hermit Crab. So how is it different from a crab? Do you know? Uh... Now they- it looks like the same- It's the number of legs, right? Like, why are those two black? Like, in the drawing? I don't- it's the number of legs, right? <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Did you see him? He's like, <laughs> That's it! Just points to us like, hey, good one, man. Yeah. That's correct. Crabs have five pairs of legs, but red king crabs only have four pairs. I don't even eat crabs, so I will not know. Direction of legs unfold is reverse, too. Oh, that it? Oh, yeah, huh. Typically, they face forward, but the red kings do not. Yeah, we're pretty smart, right, everybody? Yeah, woo! No? Okay. Fine. Whatever. Oh, we're scholarly, though. Let's go! I didn't- I totally wasn't even paying attention. Oh my god. We did it. Nala drank three. Incidentally, the tom- Tom Alley of a crab isn't its brain, as some people say. It's actually the crab's liver and pancreas. As you can see, the world is full of deception. Mm. I saw some kind of paste like that in the fridge at LeBlanc. But it's not often you see real crab meat. Hey, why don't we get sushi for our next celebration? Shut up, Morgan. Actually, that doesn't... that sounds good. That's really good, actually. Maybe I'm just hungry, though. Our name did spread a bit thanks to Madarame. But I bet people still wouldn't care if we came out and said we're the Phantom Thieves. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I doubt anyone would believe us. But what good would come of telling people of our identities? Maybe they at least start treating us with some respect. Well, I can understand why you feel that way. That's just how things are now. But if we keep doing stuff like this, 
that will definitely change. We simply need to devote ourselves to the cause. A praise will come later. What he said. I'm sure some people out there will understand. Ugh. I guess we just gotta act like modest heroes for now. Okay, Ryuji. Yeah, I don't think giving up our names is the smartest move. We're kind of like vigilantes. Vigilantes. Sorry. She's cute and I hear she's practicing hard. Dude, can, why do they just... This school is just full of rumors. Oh my god. Should we tell Miss President? It's so unfair that she gets special treatment. Stop, she's a nice lady. Well, it doesn't really concern me. Student council, what's going on? I wish I were an honor student. I don't want to have to pay tuition. <laughs> you have to pay for... I actually don't know. What's going on here? President, oh my. What is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. Oh boy. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What are you... Like, about... We, we're not doing anything. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police. What should I do? Okay, it's definitely not us. Gotcha. Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? Okay, thank God it's not about us. At least that's good. We're off the hook for this one. So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us too. I don't think that's why he put up that notice, but you know, just a hunch. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. God, you know? Yeah, it isn't you. Yeah, thank God it's not us. They ain't on to us yet. A part of me kind of feels bad for Makoto, but she's like, she needs to stop following us around everywhere. Like, but I get why she's doing. I don't know. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. She is in a tough, tough predicament. I have said baloney as vlog needs on stream before a while ago. But yeah, fun stuff. Okay, if we keep this up, I'm sure we'll get more supporters. But first, we need a, a new target. I hope we can find a good one. Yeah, whatever, Morgana. At least you're not talking about. I have some new info. <sighs> Mishima, we're not going to mementos. Apparently there's a group of burglars terrorizing Shibuya. Oh, this was the, um... This was the anime, I think. Like, the first one, the... I can't remember what it's called, but the, yeah, this was in the anime. Like, the first little anime that they did. From what I hear, they only target restaurants and break in after they close for the day. Someone online was asking if it was the work of the Phantom Thieves. Just reading that got me really pissed off. We can't let people ch lump you guys in with petty thieves, right? Uh... So does... Are we just okay with him knowing? I- I thought... I thought we never really told him it was us. Whatever. Yeah, you guys are way better than these jerks. Anyway, I heard they're- they've been running away without leaving even a trace of evidence. That's all the information I have on them right now. Sorry. For now, I'll make a post on the fan site and ask for any more details. People might know. Mm. Man, being famous really brings its own unique set of problems. But we don't really have any info. We'll just have to wait for Mishima to get a more solid lead. But, for the rest of the day, we're gonna keep ignoring our, wor our workplace and um, sadly ignore Ryuji too. Feels so bad doing it, but kind of need to do it, right? We're just gonna head over to the clinic right quick and, uh, oh, hey, it's Kemi. How's it going? There's no one here. Oh, there's no one here. Well, I can kind of see that, but, uh, it feels like a day off because I don't have any patients today. But it's raining, so I may get an influx of people with colds. So what are you here for today? Uh... 
Let's do a clinical trial first. I do want to check what she has, even though I've checked before. But, uh, it's almost complete. There's something I want to test out. Could you head to the back? And thanks- Oh, we didn't show McCoy. No! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, oh. We gotta- we gotta make sure we have McCoy. Even though I know we do. There he is. In all of his glory. God. Look at him. He's beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry to come <laughs> We're back. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks to McCoy, whatever, uh, hang out. It's thanks to you that I was able to progress this far. Now you can drink this stuff with no problem, right? I don't know about that one, Chief. I suppose. Alright, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? If you have some time, why don't you stay and enjoy an apple? Are you? You're just Maruki in disguise, ain't you? Or... Where's Maruki, you in disguise? Oh my god. It's a gift from one of my elderly patients. She gave me a lot. Hello, Dr. Takami. Chief Oyamada. Oyamada. Oh god, it's him. Oh no. Good. There was some medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. So who's this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients, a girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. Oh god, how does he know? <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's talk that the care at a university's hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Original medicine? Ha! Huh. What you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just rotted away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. What the heck? This guy's... A dick. She's a great doctor, I'll have you know. What did you say? She's a great doctor, I'll have you know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> you seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. She's a plague, I know already, dude. She's a monster who tortured a patient with her unregulated medicine. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not buying that for a second. That's a lie. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl, always smiling. What does this mean? Was? She passed away. What? No. We we're doing all these trials for this girl. No. It's gotta be another lie, right? Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate, hmm? <laughs> she is the plague, after all. Don't lie to me. She should still have some time. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take another patient away from me again. You don't want me. You don't want to make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. What a dick. Oh, Takemi, are you okay? Miwa-chan's dead. No. No, no. But she's all I've been working toward all this time. Curing her was my only... There's no way. Don't, don't lose hope. We don't know if... Takemi, we don't know if he's telling the truth. <sighs> what have I been doing all this time? What was even the point? Takemi, no. I can't. Just just rest for today. I'll, I'll handle it or something. Yeah, you're right. 
God, I'm sad. Why are our confidants just getting sad? I feel better now. Thanks for your help, my little guinea pig. Are you sure you're okay, though? Like... It feels like my bond is growing stronger, but... We got discount. Decreases the price for all items sold at the clinic. Which is good, but... I don't feel like going into how good it is right now. God dang. I don't know what to say. Uh, I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. It's okay, sometimes you need to see everybody's sides of stuff, like... All their emotions, that's how you really get to know a person. It's okay, Takemi. Yeah, I'm glad you did, like... <laughs> you are? Well, I suppose that's fine. As long as it's you. Go on home for today. We will continue this another time. Dang. I hope she's okay, dude. Like, God, this sucks. Take care. You, you too, Dakemi. Oh, Black, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Ah, you're back. Yeah, uh, we have a small little community around here. It's nice, mostly just playing Persona 5, sometimes, uh, weird Santa Claus games and stuff of that sort. Uh, let's listen to the news, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Korok freaks out every time Dio's on <laughs> the deep. Konodo Dio da! Wish I had that deep of a voice. Next up, next up is entertainment. Complaints about the authenticity of artwork are flooding in from buyers after the Madurame debacle. It seems this scandal will continue to cause confusion in the art world for quite some time. Hmm. The people in bon art from Madurame should have accepted the truth about him now. Yeah, you would think so, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way, Morgana. Let's do a crossword. Held to inform... What? Held to inform the con... Oh, I was thinking, like, something was held from the public, but held to, like... To, like, inform them about actual things. This makes so much more sense. I read that so poorly. Like, conference? There's another E, thank god. Conference! This is when the press is brought together to hear and report on some kind of information being made public. They can be either planned or assembled last minute. When press conferences are held, different entrances and exits are usually established so the speakers won't be get bombarded by the press as they make their leave. All right. I see. Well, nice. kind of knew that already, but uh, yeah, it was nice. Um. Actually, let's look at our confidants. Like, who do we have? Dang, Ryuji is pretty high up. Do we have any messages? No. Uh. You know what? It was fun last time. Let's go to the, um. Let's go to the Velvet Room. Maybe they have something for us. Oh, she, they're just both out here now? That's sick. Sick. All right, Justine, what's up? Well, you're, you're not Justine. What the? All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. Listen closely. The place we have, we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... One that many young people are said to visit. Here, one has the opportunity to view the fantasies of humans. We hear that there are a variety of fantasies available for per usual there. And all outside of a palace. How strange. Yes, these fantasies. They are the cognitions of others given form. They will undoubtedly, undoubtedly support your efforts. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well... If you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Could be the movie theater of Shibuya. What'll you do? So what'll it be? 
Uh, yeah, let's do this. This might be fun. The what? The movie theater? Uh, yeah, don't you don't you all remember? Or actually, I guess PQ2 technically hasn't taken place yet, so they wouldn't remember. And that's also not canon, technically. Anyway, is this place cursed to wander the land or something? We shall confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Okay. Not bad for an inmate. Oh wow, we actually get to see inside the movie theater. That's pretty sick. As all the people loaded. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story <laughs> to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. <laughs> You're also like two feet tall. Shut up. It was only because of that thing jumping out at my face. And you were just as scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. What exactly were those that we wore? A persona. <laughs> Come on, I don't. I feel bad lying to them. They're, they just want to know more. Uh, they are three 3D glasses. Oh, so there are some sort of trick to the glasses. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Actually, they don't even do that. Your own attention wasn't wa wa wandering. Wandering. While well, we were caught up in the movie, was it? Oh. Why is it that humans even create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far to spend their money? Just to witness fictional events. Uh... There's- all of these are kind of right, actually. I think most of the time, though... Yeah, to escape reality. So they wish to avert their eyes from the world they live in. What an unsettling answer. Escape, you say? That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Huh. What a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If he were to attempt such a blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? <laughs> I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster of some distractive image. Wow, um, Justine, I think you've seen another movie before. It's um, a pretty good movie. Makes sense for you two to see it. It's called Shawshank Redemption. I get references sometimes. Only open this cell door means it seems more impactful. They use that plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They wielded a bazooka and went about blowing up everything. Is that the rock? Any recaptured SKP is executed on the spot. Freedom and death are the only options for an inmate on the... On the lam. On the lam is a term that means on the run, in case you don't know. Suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline? Or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up. The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us how you'd try to escape. Would you blast the door or use a spoon? Um, I'm not- you, yeah, you guys don't need to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Like, it's fine. That is not the answer we are looking for at the moment. Doesn't matter either. You can't escape us. No matter how sound you think your plan is. Well, they had a good time. 
There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit, every now and then. Indeed. Today we learned more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile places... palaces plague humanity. <laughs> Don't fall behind. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. That being said, here's your reward. Cool. Let's go card for Fry. And Psy. Cool. Now, let us return. I believe that you... that will be all for today. It is time to return. Okay. Escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room. I heard there's a forum about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, I've seen him on TV. He's famous, but he still rides the train like everyone else. Who? Wait, where even are we? Who are they talking about? Hey, isn't that the... That detective? The Phantom Thieves are kinda cool, huh? I don't even see him. Where is he? Whatever. I suppose. What do you think about that? Hey, that calling card sent to the Modorama exhibit, do you think? I was wondering about that. Yeah, I think it's just like the one sent to Kamashita. People online are saying the Phantom Thieves are behind this. That's that's already a, there's already a fan site with a bunch of requests posted on it. <laughs> it's so cool. I can't believe there are real life superheroes. Oh, it's that girl from that hides and looks at the dude all the time. She just she's running to go get him. If it's happened twice, it's probably going to happen again. Can't wait to see who's next. Cool. Well, that was. A lot of the conversations are pretty pointless, but they're kind of fun to listen in on. Yes. Not gonna lie. Oh, hey, Maruki. Sounds like a lot of other people are gonna be on that trip to the studio tomorrow. Do you guys get to see the show too? I wouldn't mind seeing that. I like talk shows. Oh, and variety shows. Wonder if they'll talk about the Phantom Thieves. They certainly get plenty of attention on TV and the internet. Though I'm a little worried about what might happen if the media gets people too riled up. Oh, that reminds me. Have you guys covered totalit- I can speak, I promise. Totalit- Totalitarianism yet. Thank you. It's a governmental structure that unites its people under a hot Under a single ideology. An authority- Dude, what is going on? Authority- Author authoritarian control of the masses, in theory, brings the people together under one ideal. That definitely comes with logistical benefits, but it also means forcing ideals on people, assimilating the unwilling. And that's how wars get started. How about you? All right, here's a question. You're just picking on me because you know me, huh? Where does Italian? Totalitarianism take things a step further than authoritarianism. Uh it's controlling the public thought. This is it. From my understanding. Exactly. Wow. Well, I'm surprised you knew that. Yes, a totalitarian government tries to control the culture, morals, and even the thoughts of its people. To minimize dissidents, they try to assimilate everything everyone into one ideology. Even reading the room could be seen as a form of personal assimilation. You all do that too, right? I try to, though I'm not great at it. It's not a bad skill to have. It can even help you survive the modern world. But you can't do it too much. If you make an echo chamber, then the people whose opinions differ might get hurt. He rambles on a bit, but he makes some good points. Maruki does. I like him. God, we just need kindness and proficiency now for level threes. I'd like to remind you all to keep a strong sense of self and an open mind. So we can disagree and still live in harmony. I guess class is almost over. That's it for today. A strong sense of self, huh? Need to make sure we don't lose sight of what we believe in, too. 
Wow. That was nice. Oh, what's going on here? It sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. Wow, a true rumor. Wild. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Nijibis Senpai for? Hmm. Well, at least Ahn knows about it now. <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Did she know about it though? I don't know. Nijima Senpai knew? She probably did, let's be honest. But I don't know, it is a rumor, but what they said before is true, I don't know. It would stand to reason that she would know as well, but I don't know. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. <laughs> I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. <gasps> it appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. He probably knew about that too, though, and so didn't do anything, so we'll see, though. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. It could happen to anybody, like what? There's no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. Yeah, and we don't even... Well, they don't even know if the Phantom Thieves exist, like... I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. This guy no. <sighs> hmm... Why is he taking precedence over the Phantom Thieves, though? I don't know. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. She can multitask, right? Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. That's absurd. So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? Oh my god, he's man- I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. That's so messed up to bring up. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. <laughs> Screw you, dude. God, now I am kind of starting to feel bad for her, I guess. Oh. October. Out of nowhere. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the follow. How are you doing? So what kind of person would be a bigger target than Madarame? Hmm? I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town. I think we find a kind of found somebody. That's quite a vague prerequisite. Don't we have any more specific ideas? Um, let's go for... I guess that kind of matches with who we're technically going for next, so... An evil overlord. Dude, this ain't some kind of video game. Or wait, is it? Oh god. Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for that as we go. If only there's a big target just lying around for us. Yeah, I don't know. There there might be a target around. You never know. Hey, tomorrow's field trip is to the TV station, isn't it? Maybe our next target will be a celebrity. Maybe. That's a good point, actually. 
Hey, shouldn't we tell the other- No, we're not going to Mementos Park. God, Jesus. This is still- Yeah, it's still him crying. God. Well. That's gonna do it for Persona 5. Catch y'all next time in game. Should be fun. With the school trip and all.